Hi everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome back to another video. Today I have a collaboration video for you. And as you could see in the thumbnail and the description of this video, we're going to create a steampunk air balloon. Jo is an incredibly friendly soul and she has lots of arts, craft and DIY projects on the channel and she loves to use supplies for crafting that are easily to find around the house. She also does haul videos and thrift store finds, so if you're interested in that, please head on over to her channel, tell her I sent you and show her some love. But without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm starting off this project with this shadow box I found for $3 at a thrift store. I'm going to sand the entire surface of this thing because it has a thin layer of brown acrylic paint and I want to paint it black. After sanding I am applying two layers of acrylic paint, just plain black acrylic paint. And then before I do the inside, I speckled the whole inside with this wall filler stuff. This is because the inside is this glued together pieces of wood and it is a very uneven surface. And this is what the entire inside looks like right now. I made a little drawing of the balloon that I want to make and I'm going to stick that behind this piece of glass just so I have a little bit of a guide on how big it can be because I don't want to make my balloon bigger than what fits inside the frame. I just stuck it down with a little bit of washi tape and yes, this can just go in the oven with the project on top. I do the same with the vessel that will be hanging underneath the air balloon. Then moving on to creating the base shape of the balloon. I'm using foil for this step, just so I don't use up too much clay. As you can see here, there is a cavity that I'm creating for inside the balloon. This is just a fun little feature that I thought up. You'll be able to look inside the balloon and it adds a little bit of interest. I made this with a small bowl. I didn't show you the bowl separately, but I'm sure you can make it out from the video. I keep building up layers with the foil until I'm happy with the shape, following the pattern that I drew up earlier. I wanted to include some lights in this project and wanted to have some in the cavity as well. Because I'm working with glass, I can make some indents in the back so the lights are behind the glass and light up the cavity. I then cover the entire thing with painter's tape so the foil stays together and the clay has something to adhere to. For this project I'm using Super Sculpey. I have rolled out some sheets of clay with a pasta machine and sticking two sheets together so I can cover the entire surface of the balloon. Rolling over the top of the glass cavity with a clay roller, I can cut out the exact shape of the cavity opening. I flip back the clay to apply some bacon bond to the painter's tape so the Sculpey sticks to the surface. And then it's like covering a cake in fondant. Then I just cut off the excess and made sure that everything was nice and securely attached to the shape. Now I wanted to apply a hinge to this project. There is really no way on telling you how I did this as it was very much trial and error. And in the end, it worked out. And I'm happy about that. So there you have it. I applied a hinge. I wanted the door to be slightly domed, so I put a little piece of foil underneath the door so it can bake in that shape. Then, of course, the balloon is not steampunk if it's not made out of metal. With my Explorer tool, I'm adding details to the balloon that look like metal plates and with small balls of clay, I'm adding rivets. Thank you. 
This is what it looks like so far and I'm gonna do this for the entire surface of the balloon. Then on to more detailing to make it even more steampunk. Part of this collaboration and to make it a bit more of a challenge is to use beads and fabric. I will get there at the almost very end, but they will definitely be included. And this is the result after adding all those little details. Moving on to the vessel that will be hanging underneath the balloon. I drew out the main shape and because I'm using pencil I can kind of print it onto the clay so I have a guide. I kept it fairly simple as I wanted the main feature to be the balloon. This is the part where the fabric comes in as well. I drilled a hole into one of the corners of the shadow box as this is where I eventually will put the wiring through. And then painting the entire interior of the box black. Somehow I was able to attach the little door to the balloon and I am so happy this actually worked out. So now just to add a little bit more interest to the inside of the cavity and that's adding some wires inside. Nothing too fancy. Now whilst that is all baking and cooling down I am creating the fins of the vessel. I cut some cocktail prickers to size and glue them in the fan shape to the fabric. I do the same for a side fin. Inside the fin parts I cut out a scallop shape. Then finally I glued together the sides. I made a little gap in the back of the vessel for the side fin before I baked it and now I can attach the side fin in there. I cut out the large fin in a similar way. I cut off the excess so I can glue it onto the back of the vessel. Now that the balloon is all baked, it is ready for painting. I'm going to give it two layers of black acrylic paint. And of course we cannot forget to paint the vessel as well. I am dry brushing some of the black paint over the fabric to give it more of an aged look. The wiring for this project is really easy. From the back of the shadow box I'm putting the lights through the hole. With Inca Gold Wax in the color copper I'm giving the shadow box a worn and used look. The links to the products used in this video are in the description box below. Moving on to the details of the balloon, I have some copper, gold and silver metallic paints that I will be using here, applying them with a brush and my fingers. Jo sent me a sneak peek of her steampunk air balloon and it is completely different from what I created, different materials, everything different, so please go and check it out. And I'm dry brushing some of the paints to the wires inside the cavity. Next up is positioning the lights in the balloon at the back so they show through inside the cavity. I secure the wires at the back of the balloon with painter's tape before gluing the balloon down in the shadow box. Before I permanently stick down the balloon inside the shadow box, I make little edges for the inside of the box sitting just underneath the edges of the outside. This is because the shadow box is quite deep and I don't want the light bulbs to show. I just want the glow of them. When I have finally stuck down the balloon and positioned and glued down all the lights in the way I want them, it's time for the finishing touches. I'm attaching the vessel underneath the balloon, adding some change to the balloon and finally I'm adding some beads to finish it all off. Let's have a look at the final result together.
And this is it for the creation of this steampunk air balloon. I am really happy with how this turned out and I hope you like it too. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials and consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you're new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!